to start with we have completed question number 4 and we are into question number 5 now what is the fifth question why did einstein write a letter to franklin roosevelt the president of us why did einstein write a letter to franklin roosevelt when i taught you the lesson i have discussed this question so it will be easy for you to get the answer i am not going to give you answer for this question where you are going to find out the answer from the textbook and you are going to answer the question why did einstein write a letter to franklin roosevelt is it clear for everyone you are going to provide me answer for this question shall we move on to the next question now okay what is the next question how did einstein react to the bombing of hiroshima and nagasaki this bombing atomic bomb which was dropped in hiroshima and nagasaki created a major destruction all over the area it is not only into that particular place the entire region was covered the entire territory was covered how was Einstein reaction to this as a physicist as a scientist he would have reacted in a different way but when we consider him as a better human being okay his reaction was different how his reaction was he felt bad about the destruction caused by atomic bomb what was his feeling he felt bad about the destruction caused by atomic bomb and why does the world remember einstein as a world citizen what is the meaning of the word world citizen world citizen means universally he is being acknowledged as a genius and he is the one who was concerned about the whole world the entire world why does the whole world remember einstein as a world citizen is there any reason behind it yes there is a good reason the reason is that the world remember him as genius the world remembers him as genius the reason is you could see here he is the one who worked for the peace and you could see that he wrote a letter to he wrote a letter to franklin roosevelt to talk about the destruction which is caused by the atom bomb which, which was dropped in hiroshima and nagasaki the destruction it just killed him it had a deep connected to his emotions the world remembers him as genius and that is the reason why he is being universally acclaimed as a great physicist are you clear with the idea now come to the next question you could see one more point he believed in universal peace this is the line children before going to the next question this is the important line he believed in universal peace he wanted the whole world to be in peace that is the reason why he is being acknowledged as world citizen and he worried about the aftermath of atom bomb which was dropped in hiroshima and nagasaki these are the reasons which made him to be celebrated as world citizen the world remember him as genius he believed in universal peace and he worried about the aftermath of atom bomb these are the reasons which made einstein to be acknowledged to be celebrated as world citizen are you clear with this wordings take down the answers children why i am discussing you see to that i am not giving you the full answer i am just discussing you the ideas these ideas will help you to write your own answer you have to frame it in a correct sentence you have to frame this ideas into a correct answer come to the next question now here are some facts from einstein's life arrange them in chronological order what is the meaning of this word chronological order have you come across this word chronological order yes 
Come on, those who know the answer for this word chronological order. Yes, right. Okay, you are coming out with good answers. Chronological order means you are going to arrange things according to the dates. You are going to arrange events according to the date and the year. I am going to list out few incidents over here and it is there in your textbook also under question number 8. What you are going to do is you are going to arrange them in chronological order according to the dates. Is it clear for you? Arrange them and you are going to post me the answers. For question number 5 and for question number 8, you have to come out with the answers. Other questions I have discussed with you. Only one question is left out. That is the first question. We are going to see the first question now. Thinking about the text. Here are some headings for paragraphs in the text. Write the number of the paragraphs for each title against the heading. The first one is done for you. What you are going to do is, here are some incidents which is listed out in your textbook in question number 1. What you are going to do is, you are going to write the paragraph number just opposite to it. Is it clear? There is a box opposite to the incident. There you are going to write the numbers. You are going to mention the numbers from which paragraph this particular incident is taken or from which paragraph this heading is taken. You can take this as headings. From which paragraph these headings are taken? Read out the first one, Einstein's equation. First one is already done for you. It is there in paragraph 9. Einstein meets his future wife. Einstein meets his future wife. The making of a violinist, amateur violinist, we have read in the lesson. What it is called children? The making of a amateur violinist. Mileva and Einstein's mother. Yes, when Einstein is in the idea of marrying her, her mother will give her opinion. Okay, you could see that Einstein's mother, sorry children, I have made it like her mother. It is Einstein's mother. His mother will give her opinion. Okay, that you can see. A letter that launched the arms race. Arms race, the letter which is written to Franklin Roosevelt. A desk drawer full of ideas. In which paragraph it is? Marriage and divorce. It happens in which paragraph, children? Okay. Now, I have done something for you. Like question number 2 and 3. Let us look at the answers now. For question number 2, you could see Einstein meets his future wife. It is there in paragraph 7. Einstein meets his future wife. It is there in paragraph 7. The making of a violinist. It is there in para 3. Mileva and Einstein's mother. It is there in para 10. So I have done four questions. That is three. I have done it for you. One is already there in the textbook. Three more questions are left out. You are going to complete it. It's clear children. What you are going to do? You are going to complete the answers for five, six and seven. It will be better if you take it down in your classwork notebook. Einstein's equation, Einstein meets his future wife, the making of a violinist, Mileva and Einstein's mother, a letter that launched the arms race, a desk drawer full of ideas, marriage and divorce. What you are going to do? You are going to write the paragraph numbers just opposite to it. Three I have done it for you. One is there in your textbook. Three is left out which you are going to complete on your own. Shall we do some uh, workbook exercises now, children? Parallelly for this unit, we are going with workbook exercises. In the first part of Einstein lesson, I gave you some exercises from the workbook so that you could complete it parallelly. And in the part, four, part 3 and part 4, I gave you some workbook exercises where uh, you could see Einstein have written a letter to Mahatma Gandhi, okay, and what, what did uh, Mahatma Gandhi reply to him? 
that text I ask you to read and I ask you to write the answer. And today what we are going to do is because you have written something in your classwork notebook. I don't want to trouble you a lot. We are going to discuss few exercises which is there in page number 60. That too it is called as vocabulary. Here you could see read the paragraphs mentioned against each explanation and find out the words in the paragraph. What was the previous exercise we did children? Heading was given. You are asked to find out the paragraph. Here, paragraph is given for you. You are going to search for the right word. What you are going to do? Here, like you can take it explanation of a particular word or meaning of a particular word is given for you. And that word, it is present in which paragraph is also noted for you. What you are going to do now? You are going to select the word which has the meaning. A word used disapprovingly to talk about a person who is unusual and does not behave like others. This is sold by his mother. It comes in paragraph 1. What is the answer? Freak. You have to select the right word. Don't go for a sentence or don't choose two or three words. You have to select only one word which gives this meaning. Come to the next question now. Taking part in an activity for pleasure, not as a job. This you can see in paragraph 3. Okay, where does this come? This comes in paragraph 3. What is the answer children? The answer is ammature. Okay, ammature is the word. Come to the next question now. Respecting and allowing many different types of beliefs or behavior. You have to find out this word from paragraph 5. A person who is lacking in or hostile or smugly indifferent to cultural values and intellectual pursuits etc. This line is taken from paragraph 7. And you have other one question. You can find this question in your workbook. You are going to get answer for all these questions. What you are going to do children? Again to remind you, you are going to pick out the right word. And to the right side you can see that the paragraph number indication is also given for you which is going to be an easiest task for you to find out the answer. Come to the next exercise now in your workbook uh, followed by that vocabulary. Einstein was a world citizen. This means he does not belong to one country because his contributions to science and the society have moved beyond the borders of his country. Okay. This means he does not belong to one country because his contributions to science and the society have moved beyond the borders of his country. World has different meanings in variety of contexts. Here you could see Einstein is called as world citizen. Okay. So, uh, you are going to find some sentences in your workbook now. And that sentences will have a different meaning for the word world. Okay. What that sentences will have? It is going to have different meaning for the word. What is that word children? The word is world. Okay. What is the word? The word is world. You are going to write the different meanings of this same word world in the sentences. And you are going to send me now. Will you send it to me now? Yes, you are going to do that. Complete these two exercises, children. You can see that this is going like classroom session. But it is, uh, we could not get into any kind of interaction. But I am giving you answers, discussing you the ideas, making you do the work. To be regular and complete the work in time. Is it clear for you? Okay. So, these two exercises you are going to complete in your workbook. And you are going to send it. Uh, thank you children. We will meet in the next session. Before that, before signing off in the session, I will tell you something. Uh, in English, you have uh, four areas to be completed. You have to complete your textbook. You have to complete your composition notebook. Workbook you have to complete. And your classwork notebook you have to complete. Four things you have to write. Is it clear? You may think like you have lot to write in English. There is no other go. In order to enhance your writing skill, you have to follow it.
have a touch if you have any doubts make a call to me